Andrea Canadia from the trumpet section. Our first song for you this evening is Crystal Mountain Festival by composer Steve Hodge. Hodge creates a rhythmically interesting concert selection using nothing more complicated than dotted quarter eighth note figures. This piece was great for working on both legato and marcato playing, as well as on dynamics, articulations, and key changes. We discuss the importance of the melody being passed around to each group of instruments and strive to balance the ensemble. We hope you enjoy our opening number in the sixth grade portion of this winter concert. by Johann Sebastian Bach allowed us to learn a bit more about Bach and his composition style. The two hymns performed are contrasting format. The first hymn is written in concert F, is in 3-4 time, and is performed at moderato tempo, while the second hymn is in concert B flat, is in 4-4 time, and is at a more accelerated majestic tempo. In each hymn, we discuss the importance of four-bar phrasing, mimicking the continued sound of an organ, the instrument this music was first intended to be performed on, and hairpin phrases. We hope to convey those concepts through our dynamics and breath marks. Those two hymns, these two hymns were paired together by arrangers Sandy Fettleston and John O'Reilly, and we will play both of them without interruption. Please hold your applause until both hymns are completed.
My name is Maddie Clement from the clarinet section. The last sixth grade band selection you'll hear this evening is the Bavarian Folk Dance, a traditional song arranged by composer John Kenyon. This song allows us to learn the ABA form and the Alla Breve or cut time signature. It also helps us execute staccato or separated articulation style and move within two different key signatures with ease. This lighthearted dance was fun to learn and we hope you enjoy it. Watch out for the surprise trompone feature in the last measure. Thank you for listening. Thank you. 